you, in order to get uh, the internal spectrum, you can just uh, bypass the system into left and right, the A and B part, and, and then integrate the degree of freedom of the, for example, the part B, and then get the reduced density matrix. After that, you exponentiate it as a uh, uh, entangled Hamiltonian. This form, which is very similar to the uh, thermodynamic, thermodynamic uh, density matrix, just uh, you just take the a beta, they call the parameter beta equal to one, and and then we can diagonalize the entangled Hamiltonian. The full sets of eigenvalue of the entangled Hamiltonian gave us the entangled spectrum. Of course, from this uh, uh, entangled spectrum, we can also get the, the entanglement entropy. But however, the, the full spectrum of the entangled Hamiltonian uh, eigenvalues uh, contain much more information than the entanglement entropy. That's the uh, main point. Uh, uh, proposed by the uh, Duncan Hall in 2008, I think. Uh, I think uh, about uh, 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 three years ago, more than three years ago, uh, uh, Bian Fu and, uh, and, and, and my group has considered uh, to expand the idea of how then uh, to uh, try to extract more information uh, from the ground, topological ground state wave function. We, we, we introduce the so-called uh, extensive bipartition for the uh, entanglement, uh, for the topological ground state wave function. We just uh, em empty, just make some hole in this uh, uh, real space uh, of, this, of the system. And uh, tuning the extensive bipartition, uh, we, uh, we think maybe can access to the critical point between the topological phase and the vacuum phase. So like these uh, uh, procedures you can see. In particular, at the, in the middle, this, uh, uh, this configuration we call is a symmetric bulk bipartition. And uh, in, in this uh, condition, the uh, sublattice A and the B are exactly symmetric. So we call it, we call it symmetric. Since uh, the, uh, the, the H states ex, uh, extended in the whole system, you see, the, for example, the part A, the H state of A of part A extended the expanded the whole system, so we call it a symmetric form by partition. And uh, in this uh, uh, way, in these methods, we using these methods, we uh, we start uh, we study the first example is a two-dimensional integer on the whole states, which is uh, a non-interacting uh, fermion system. You see, uh, for example, we consider uh, the free fermion system on a square lattice with a magnetic field, if we just, uh, if we put uh, one third uh, flux per uh, unit cell, and uh, also tune the chemical potential uh, in, the, uh, in the first gap by filling up the, the lowest back, we can get the new to one integer on the four steps. So, uh, for a cylinder configuration, we, calcul we can calculate the uh, exact uh, excitation spectrum exactly, which is given by this uh, spectrum. You clearly see there's a uh, two parallel H states uh, obtained. And uh, after that, we can uh, focus on the ground states of this uh, uh, new equal to one integer on the whole states. We make the uh, such kind of uh, a checkboard uh, symmetric walk by partition. The uh, blue dots represents the uh, uh, 
the, the, the light is size for sublight is B and the red dot for the sublight is A to make such kind of checkboard uh, uh, by partition. And when they integrated out uh, the degree freedom in part uh, B, we, we get such kind of uh, a periodic structure and uh, we can uh, also uh, exact diagnose the, uh, the entanglement Hamiltonian and obtain the entanglement spectrum, which is exactly the single Dirac cone uh, spectrum. Yeah. This, uh, if you look at uh, uh, the, 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 the sublattice V, you can clearly see the wave function uh, of the internal Hamiltonian mainly, uh, uh, mainly confined in the uh, age of the of the system. So the these age states form a uh, network current network states. Such kind of current network states exactly reproduce this uh, Dirac cone uh, spectrum as an uh, uh, internal spectrum. And uh, we also know that the integer quantum hole, nearly to the one integer quantum hole states to nearly to zero uh, trivial states, the critical states described by two plus one free Dirac formula uh, field theory, yeah, which uh, exactly corresponding to this uh, Dirac cone spectrum. Uh, and uh, the, the the, the next example, uh, we studied uh, this uh, AKRT spin one with valence from solid states because uh, this, although this is just a one dimensional uh, uh, system, but uh, it, is, it is an interacting system compared to the intercontinental world, which is uh, non interacting system. So I think uh, most of you be familiar with the AKRT state. This is parent Hamiltonian. And uh, the ground state wave function of this Hamiltonian are uh, uh, described as a follow. You just uh, decompose spin one into two spin one half. And uh, the nearest neighbor sides uh, are linked by spin one singly states. So you, you end up this uh, balance bound solid states. And, uh, and we have, uh, uh, if we can easily write down the ground state wave function for this uh, uh, space, like uh, this uh, wave function, in terms of uh, uh, three, two, uh, two by two uh, matrix. This, the, the, the property of this uh, spin one AKRT space are following. First, is described by gap phase. Uh, when the, when the, uh, Spin one chain has a periodic boundary condition. The ground state is a unique, and the correlation correlation length is uh, one over log three. For an open uh, chain, uh, there are two uh, spin one half H spin, which uh, produce uh, a four four uh, four four degeneracy of the ground states, and uh, uh, this. Uh, state, the spin one AKRT states, uh, nowadays people call it a symmetry protected topological phase uh, with a min minimum symmetry, either time reversal symmetry, which is Z2, or bound center inversion symmetry, which is also Z2, or the bihedral Z2 cross Z2 group of spin one, spin pi rotation about two orthogonal axes. And uh, uh, from the uh, renormalization group point of view, the AKRT states uh, represent the fixed point of uh, the, uh, uh, represent the fixed point V function of the uh, Holland gap phase because they, uh, they give the, the generic property of the uh, Holland gap phase. So we, we started this. We focus on the uh, AKRT states. So for the AKRT states, when we uh, consider the entanglement Hamiltonian, the simplest uh, by partition is just uh, you cut the system, make uh, uh, the left, the right, two sublattice, and when you integrate out uh, the part B, 
and get the reducer matrix and uh, diagonalize this. In this case, this reducer matrix is quite simple. We can uh, put the, the, the entanglement spectrum just uh, uh, two for degenerate uh, uh, energy at a single level, which should give you now two entanglements uh, entropy. Uh, however, when you consider a slightly uh, different uh, uh, by partition, for example, in this case, you cut, you make a two cut of the system. The middle part you call the part A, and the, 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 the left and the right part called the part B. And then when you uh, integrate part B, the entanglement spectrum you get, uh, you can get is is a two-level system. Uh, when the the the, the entanglement spectrum actually depends on the parity of the uh, of the, 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 the lens of the part A. If the lens is uh, even, L is even, you got uh, the lowest uh, entanglement spectrum level is uh, non-degenerate. The first excited level has a three-fourth degenerate. And uh, in this case, we interpret uh, uh, the 2H spin 1 half as uh, an effective antiferromagnetic coupling. However, when the lens of part A uh, include a uh, old number of lattice sites, the entanglement spectrum becomes the first level uh, has a threefold degenerate, and the excite first excited level has a uh, non degenerate. In this case, we can interpret uh, the 2H spin as a finite uh, ferromagnet coupling. And for these two uh, situations, and uh, we can use this internal Hamiltonian, the following internal Hamiltonian, to describe the, the, the internal spectrum. And uh, in order to create an extensive number of H spin, in the in this AKRT states, we, as I mentioned before, introduced before, we have used uh, introduced this symmetric form by partition. Uh, for example, in this figure, I use uh, the the LA equal LB equal to two and make such kind of sub lattice uh, by partition, and then I calculate the reduced density matrix. In terms of this, uh, uh, graphically, uh, uh, in terms of this uh, uh, graph, and uh, you can uh, you can imagine that this reduced tensor matrix is uh, uh, described and uh, this this uh, this internal Hamiltonian describe an effective spin one uh, antiferromagnetic uh, spin chain with a lens of part A total total. L8, and uh, we we use uh, this uh, uh, this is a method numerical method we used basically is uh, this uh, a singular value of decomposition method. The numerical result we uh, show here uh, in this uh, figure the the the, the x x uh, direction is uh, so that is the lattice length of the uh, part A, and this is spectrum. Uh, when you uh, have a different uh, length of part A, you can get uh, the, 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 this uh, spectrum. In particular, when the LA is uh, large enough, this uh, uh, quite uh, 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 interesting spectrum you can get. And when we analyze this spectrum, we found uh, the, 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 the lowest level is uh, a non degenerate. The first excited level, uh, the first excited uh, level is a triplet, and the difference to the ground states vanish in the thermodynamic limit, 1 over L8. And the second the, uh, excited level also obey this 1 over L law, which uh, uh, tell us uh, with in the thermodynamic limit, this uh, entanglement spectrum will become a uh, gapless, continuous spectrum. And uh, after that, since we already 
diagonalize the entanglement Hamiltonian, we can further we can further study the ground states of the entangled Hamiltonian. You see, for this uh, 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 ground states of entangled Hamiltonian, we can further uh, calculate the entanglement entropy. And uh, uh, it, as, uh, as we already showed, the entangled Hamiltonian describes a gapless space. So by calculating the entanglement entropy, and uh, we can uh, we can determine which universality class of this gapless uh, uh, space is. And by by comparing this uh, uh, the, the, the entanglement entropy with uh, this uh, conformal field theory formula, we can determine the central charge of the uh, 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 this uh, entanglement Hamiltonian, which give uh, uh, yield almost a one. And uh, this result is consistent with the effective critical theory given by the spin one algebra and Hesman spin chain. And uh, so you may ask, what what, uh, uh, what kind of uh, critical states described by the uh, internal Hamiltonian that I will tell you? As uh, you know, uh, the AKRT wave function represents the ground state of spin one Holland phase, and uh, between the Holland phase and the trivial gap phase, there will be a uh, Critical from critical phase, uh, phase transition. The, so there's a quantum criticality associated with this uh, uh, topological phase transition. And, uh, and uh, this uh, uh, critical phase transition, uh, this uh, critical property cannot be obtained from the uh, from the both sides of this uh, uh, phase diagram. So, so here we, the the the, comp, uh, the result we point out, the uh, I think from other kind of uh, uh, studies, they know the critical states uh, is uh, related to the. Uh, uh, to the uh, uh, one plus one SU two level one West minimum written theory. So this uh, uh, conformal field theory also has a uh, 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 central charge one and similar to the effective theory of spin one half and development and has a spin chain. And uh, you may also you may further ask what kind of, uh, uh, can, can, can I design a Hamiltonian to realize such kind of uh, phase diagram? So I, I would like to propose such kind of phase diagram. So spin one chain, and uh, you see this uh, uh, staggered, uh, this uh, dimerization parameter delta. When the delta uh, equal to zero, we just uh, get uh, this AKRT state. When the delta is uh, small, the, the ground state of this spin one chain uh, is described by the column gap phase. When the delta is uh, larger than a critical value, this model is described by a dimerized phase, which is trivial, not trivial gap phase. So this such kind of Hamiltonian can realize such uh, phase diagram. Okay. And uh, as I mentioned previously, when the segments of lens is uh, old, the the H spin, the, the two H spin of each segment has a, a ferromagnetic coupling. In this case, we can also calculate the entanglement spectrum. This uh, this the result we obtain. In this case, when the sublattice uh, sub is Subsystem has a large, uh, has a longer enough. We see the spectrum is uh, very uh, intensive. The, the actually the first, the first uh, states is the uh, highly degenerate. It's 
has a has a degenerate they've been uh, and with a finite uh, magnetization when you when when we uh, analyze the finite size spectrum we see the first excited level uh, and the second excited level to the ground state entanglement level follow this 1 over L square law which indicates this, uh, this the, the entanglement spectrum describe a ferromagnet, uh, ferromagnetic spin, uh, spin wave spectrum and actually this, in this case the internal Hamiltonian you can use this uh, uh, model to hit this uh, uh, spectrum so, so uh, just to know I just I, I give you a concrete example to uh, study the spin one AKRT state. Actually, those uh, uh, per, they, those methods can be applied to any general uh, in hand, uh, the the matrix product states. For example, in general, you have this uh, matrix product state uh, wave function, and uh, you can you can write this uh, figure in this figure. And then use uh, this uh, singular value decomposition to block a group of matrices, and uh, and then we can get uh, the block MPS wave function like this. Here, this uh, p uh, indices describe the two H spin uh, form. The, the two the, the two H spin of each uh, block, yeah. and, and and then when you apply this symmetric block by partition, the reduced density matrix actually is a matrix product operator. See this this uh, R J is a repeater uh, unit. This a uh, matrix uh, product operator. We can write here. This uh, capital B is uh, the block matrices, and this capital T is the block transfer matrix. When when we uh, in turn this uh, uh, this when we write re rewrite this uh, P uh, this uh, P P state in terms of uh, H spins, we can further decouple the two H spin into uh, the two H spin of each block like this. And then the entangled Hamiltonian can be generally de derived from this formula. So, so this is a, a general uh, method to derive uh, reduce, uh, the entanglement Hamiltonian and their symmetric form by partition. So we use this general method uh, to consider this integer spin, any integer spin AKRT state. So the entanglement Hamiltonian and the symmetric partition is given by this form. This form. The SI here is a uh, is a S over two the H spin of the AKRT states. So from this entanglement Hamiltonian, we we know there are three category uh, category states can be uh, uh, show from this entanglement. First, when the segment length L is even and uh, the original states S is O, this entanglement Hamiltonian describes quantum antiferromagnetic Heisenberg half O integer spin. Which uh, described by which describe a uh, quantum critical phase according to the hot end uh, conjecture, you know. and when the segment length L is even and S is also even, this entanglement Hamiltonian is 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 uh, the quantum antiferromagnetic Heisenberg integer spin chain with hot end gap phase. Yeah. So. 
This is the second category. The third, when the L segments of lens is old, this uh, inhabitatonia just described quantum ferromagnet has uh, spin uh, three uh, half uh, uh, s over two chain half s chain. So in order to check this uh, result, we just uh, uh, consider the spin two chain AKLT state. Yeah, this uh, just uh, uh, straightforward uh, generalization of spin one AKLT states. So this is a wave function uh, from from the topological yeah from the topological point of view, this spin two integer. Uh, this uh, even integer uh, guarantee state describe uh, a trivial topological phase due to there's no uh, age spin fractionization here. But however, when we apply this symmetric form by partition, we can get the entanglement spectrum, which, uh, which is a gap for the open boundary condition. You see the first. Uh, uh, lowest level is uh, uh, non-degenerate. The first excited level is a three four degenerate. When the when the length of uh, sub subsystem LA is uh, uh, increased, the first excited level exponentially uh, decrease the difference between the first excited to the ground state. Yeah. Exponentially decrease. So in the end. In the solar that millimeter, the the, first, the lowest entanglement level has a four four degenerates. However, when you can when you consider the second excited state, excited level of uh, different to the lowest one, they are converged to a finite value. So you will end up with uh, the, the 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 both gap states with uh, ground state degenerate. In this uh, uh, in this case, this just uh, describe uh, uh, this uh, spectrum describe the spin one hot and gap phase. Yeah. So last the, the, the third part I I will introduce uh, of another work. In in, in this uh, work we first consider uh, SO three symmetric spin one balance bond states. You see, when we can use two spin one operator to uh, to form a, still a spin one valence bond solid state, because uh, using this uh, decomposition rule, we project the two spin one operator into a spin triplet state, you know, and the nearest neighbor sides are linked by the spin one singlet. So we can write down this uh, uh, wave valence bond solid state from the wave function according to the topological uh, from the topological point of view the h h degree freedom of the states is uh, still spin one so you may you may regard this as a topological trivial state but uh, in fact it is not for example first. When you consider the parent Hamiltonian of this ground state, you know in the one-dimensional case we can uh, we can derive the parent Hamiltonian for a given uh, valence bound solid states. The the, the procedure is just the following: you just uh, group uh, several uh, uh, matrices and find out the 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 the, the, the non-states. And uh, those non-state uh, projection given by uh, this uh, is just uh, the parent Hamiltonian, which is the following. When we uh, rewrite this projection operator into the physical spin one operator, we got this uh, <laughs> this <laughs> form of interaction. the the main The main feature of this uh, parent Hamiltonian is this parent Hamiltonian involved three sides, three sides uh, spin interaction. So this uh, uh, tells us uh, this uh, Hamiltonian may involve some 
uh, uh, in interesting properties. So how to how to review that uh, property? First, we still use entanglement spectrum. We calculate the block entanglement spectrum for these states by by make two cut system, and we got uh, when the length of segment A is uh, even, we got this two level spectrum. The first is uh, non degenerate the, the lowest excited, the, 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 the first, the lowest non degenerate the first excited is uh, eight degenerate. And uh, this, uh, 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 this uh, entangling spectrum actually can be described by two H spin one operator uh, with interaction for like this. This form of interaction clearly this uh, clearly tell us uh, this entangled Hamiltonian has uh, SU3 cross conjugated SU3 symmetry. However, for the segment of length of part A, including uh, O number of lattice sites, we are ending up this uh, entanglement spectrum. This such kind of entanglement spectrum is described by this sorry, entanglement Hamiltonian here. This uh, uh, TL and TR represent spin one operator here. Yeah. Such kind of interaction also display SU3 cross SU3 symmetry. So these uh, 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 two H states, uh, you can regard these two H states uh, uh, represent two quarks or antiquarks. The, the previous situation, these two H states represents quarks and antiquarks because you know the quarks or antiquarks are described by SU3 uh, representations. And, uh, after that, we consider the Brock MPSV function, you know, using the, the, the procedure I int introduced previously. In, in this case, you will find very interesting feature. There is a, a Brock MPSV function actually is, display the full SU3 symmetry because the matrices of this uh, ground state weight function are given by these uh, eight uh, matrices, which are uh, expressed in terms of the generator of SU3 generator, SU3 uh, generator, uh, the three S operator and the five uh, quadruple operator. Yeah. So this block Major product wave function display the hidden SU3 symmetry of the original, original, uh, original uh, states or or parahamitonian. You know, so very interesting property. And uh, and and after that, <laughs> you, we can continue to apply or symmetric for partition for this uh, 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 this uh, per peculiar uh, VBS space so that also there are two distinct type of SU3 block states. First, the each block length L is even as I as I showed here the each block as a uh, uh, the, the, the length of block as a even the H spin, two H spin displays such kind of uh, the SU3, SU3 conjugate symmetry. So we represent as a quark and anti-quark. You know, the between the two nearest neighbor lengths, which is uh, singly SU3 singlet. So when you apply this form, symmetric form by partition, the effect. The, the, the entanglement Hamiltonian will give you such uh, uh, such a kind of uh, entanglement Hamiltonian. These grounds, the, 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 the grounds, they 
of this Hamiltonian actually uh, has been exactly uh, uh, solved. Uh, the ground state is a gap MRI space with a much longer correlation lens. In this case, the correlation lens is uh, around uh, uh, 21, uh, more than 21 that is size. And the uh, two for degenerates, which is due to uh, uh, spontaneous translation symmetry breaking. The another state is the block, each block lens include all number of lattice sites. And there's the symmetric form by partition, you end up this kind of uh, internal Hamiltonian. And this internal Hamiltonian, uh, many people already study them, study, which uh, uh, represent SU3 symmetric on critical states characterized by SU3 level 1, rest minimum weight, and form of field theory, central charge, uh, C2. Okay. So, in the end, let me make a conclusion. I, I want to uh, uh, I want to uh, give you some message. Uh, the first is uh, the generic ground state wave function for symmetric, uh, for symmetry protected topological phase actually could encode more information than those for non topological phases. And the fractionalization of the degree of freedom of the bulk object may lead to normal quantum phases of matter. The third is blocking MPS wave function may reveal hidden symmetry of the original uh, MPS states. And uh, the, the finally, the symmetric extensive by partition is an effective method to implement the fractionalization of the bulk objects in the uh, symmetry protected topological phases. Okay. Thank you. So would the same framework also carry over to fermionic chain? So if you just take a Majorana chain, would you get a critical chain of Majorana fermions? Or is there some obstruction? Uh, I, uh, actually, we, we, we're currently working on a project. Uh -huh. We studied, uh, maybe you know, uh, 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 Frank Westrade and uh, Sarah, they proposed the phenomenic matrix product states. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we currently were working on the program. Oh, okay. So far, we haven't uh, <laughs> get uh, the, the, the uh, solid result. Okay. So I, I will let you know when we have the result, yeah. Okay. I have a simple question. You define the entanglement entropy using uh, the entanglement uh, Hamiltonian. What's the relationship, what's the relationship between it and the uh, the standard in time in time in Chobie defined using wave function for the same. In the same. Yeah, exactly. But the, same. the spectrum are different. No, no, no. It's exponential. It's the same. It's same. Okay. It's same. Maybe I made a mistake. So maybe you you already mentioned about this. Bit. So is this uh, both the entanglement spectrum yes. reproduce the energy spectrum or have some relation to the energy spectrum? No, 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 no. Different, completely different. That that is that that is the, the reason why we uh, study the entanglement Hamiltonian, the spectrum of entanglement Hamiltonian, yeah, which uh, may represent uh, some different uh, property, but which associated associated with the uh, original uh, wave function, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the you know the, the title of my talk is the encode the topology the, the entanglement the property of the uh, topological basis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So another question is that like when you increase the block size of the mm -hmm. like, um, block entanglement spectrum, mm -hmm. then do you have something like after you things? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, the we. Actually, we, we didn't uh, do the RG, 
but uh, we studied, uh, we performed the finite size scaling. We found if the uh, spectrum of the internal Hamiltonian is at this, which uh, will be satisfied the finite size scaling. So in the in the in the two D case, is it? Um, would you, I mean, you study the the non interacting case. Right? Yes, so yes, yes. Yeah. Or to think about the, the interaction, is it the, <laughs> a way to block it or or change? Uh, I think that in two D in two D case so far we only consider non interacting formula. We don't know how to consider interacting from things. Yeah. Uh, if we know, we can do the uh, fractional fractional quantum force state and uh, right, get in, it. in the non interacting case, that regardless how you block it, you'll get a similar result. Uh, or is that a I think a, a similar result. Yeah. yeah. So in one D sort of the same work. Same way function, you can, if you have different blocking, you can get different if you know, That's right, that's right. So what's the meaning of that? I mean, in the original phase, can have the phase transition to different phase. I mean, so this is so all you have multiple intent blocking. That's right. That's right. one way function. But, uh, but uh, although yeah. there, <laughs> there may some, uh, there may uh, several different uh, phase transitions yes. uh, from one Topological phase to the other, but uh, actually we don't know uh, the phase transition are uh, continuous or discontinuous. But in one case, we definitely know the topological phase to a trivial at this. It must be at this. It must be a uh, continuous. So this uh, topological phase transition, we regard is a generic topological phase transition. In the, uh, actually, uh, if, if you have a two topological, for example, topological phase one, topological two, the, the, the the phase transition may be discontinuous. Uh, the reason I uh, I, I said uh, the 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 phase transition from the, the phase transition between topological to the uh, trivial vacuum phase is uh, generic. Is the following? You can imagine there are there are steam vacuum here. Alright? So so this there is a phase transition here and uh, here is a boundary, phase boundary. So the critical the the, 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 the the transition property between these two you can you have to consider the interaction between these uh, two these two uh, critical critical phase. In your part three, so the <coughs> length of the uh, interface between subs two subsystems mm -hmm. depends on the size of the clouds. Mm -hmm. And in such a case, uh, does the area rows of the element of the be satisfied? Yes, 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 it is satisfied. But uh, if, uh, if a system has uh, some correlation, I guess, mm -hmm. Size of a block mm. completely with such a oh, oh, oh. system. Yeah. The, the size of the unit, the segment, yeah. must be uh, larger than the uh -huh. correlation length uh -huh. of the original state. Yeah. That's uh, the precondition. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. Any other questions? Okay.
めちゃくちゃ知識とか多かったです。ただ2つを続けて参加してる人も両方で話す人もいるんですけど多分こっちはこっちで勝手に切るだと思うんですけどたまたま重なったんですよねただある程度重なりがあるんですねオーガナイザーにあそうなんですか、えー<笑>あんまりお金使う機会がないそうですね。<笑><笑>自分で払うからとか言ってるんですけど、そうしたと、手に使うつもりでいたのが、ああなってしまうんで So when, when will you be finished with this presentation? I want to take a look at it for a